Yo, we're going to integrate e to the negative 2x cos x from 0 to infinity, and it's going to be awesome because this is the shortcut method, faster version of doing this. Woohoo! We're going to use Euler's formula, and bear with me. <laughs> yes, i is an imaginary number, but trust me, when you see how this works, the integral becomes so much easier to work with. You we're probably taught to do this integral using integration by parts, but I'm going to show you a much faster way. So by doing this, we are going to say cos x is the real part of e to the i x. This is the imaginary part. This is the real part. So the integral becomes the real part of e to the negative 2x e to the i x. And this, my friends, allows us to merge these together by adding the exponents. And we've now created like a super easy integral to do. This e to the x is like our friend to integrate, right? So when we integrate this, it becomes the real part of e to the negative 2 plus i x divided by i minus 2 evaluated from 0 to infinity. If we evaluate it out, we get uh, as in the limit as x goes to infinity, this term becomes 0 because of the negative exponent here. If we sub back Euler's formula, well, this is 1, cos of 0 is 1, and sine of 0 is 0. So this whole thing becomes negative 1. And we'll substitute it into here. So this becomes the real part of 1 divided by 2 minus i. Now this is 2 minus i here, rather than i minus 2. So I swapped the denominator because of the negative 1. This is negative 1, and I brought the negative down into the denominator, which, which swapped it. OK, so to extract the real part of this, we need to put it in the form of a plus bi where a is the real part. This is the imaginary part. Now we're dealing with a fraction, so to put it in this form, we need to get rid of the denominator. And we'll do that by multiplying the top and bottom by the conjugate. And knowing that i equals the square root of negative 1, and i squared equals negative 1, if we sub that in, like kind of simplify this, we get 2 plus i divided by 5. And we can split this up into two happy fractions with the same common denominator. And my friends, we've now got the real part right here, which is the the answer to our integral right here. So that's what we want. The integral of e to the negative 2x cos x from 0 to infinity is 2 divided by 5. What's really cool is this imaginary part. That's the answer if the integral had a sine x into it instead of a cos x, because the sine x is the imaginary part of Euler's formula. So it's kind of like a 2 and 1 right here. Cool beans. All right, if you haven't seen the integration by parts, version, you should definitely check that out. And here we have another tool in your toolkit of integrals to, to do. So good luck on your midterms, final exams, hang in there. Yo, I know integrals are not easy to learn, but the more you do, the better you'll get. You can survive. Stay with it. Cheers.